Yes, sir. Today we we gonna talk about the organic reaction mechanisms. That's in chapter fourteen of Cambridge International, uh, the level chemistry course book. Uh, how can we define the A reaction mechanisms? As as we can see. It's a series of chemical steps that take place when a reaction happens. That means it is like steps by steps for a reaction, not, not just one. This involves making our target, we, we need to study, making or breaking the bonds in the molecules. Third steps, we often intermediate molecules are made as a part of mechanisms. These molecules exist in transinity during the reaction and are transformed to organic molecules, are held together, covalent bonds. Covalent bonds can break by two steps. Homolytic fission and heterofission. Heterolytic fission. As we can see or define homolytic uh, fission, it's a covalent bond, is a pair of organs like that. Pair of organs here. Is a pair of atoms held together by a pair of bonding electrons. What that mean? We can we can talk in Arabic. For example, if we can define a homolytic, what that mean? That's it. that homolytic homo. It means same. Lytic vision does mean destroyed or breaking or homolysis. Homolytic vision. In, in the signal bond like that, when it is a break, it's the, the products will be hydrogen and the chlorine. One of them has electron in the outer of, of this. And the, they, the chlorine has a seven electron in there. So that the species produced when bond breaks homolytic is a free radicals. The main products of this process is a free radicals. What does that mean free radicals? Free radicals that mean like hydrogen or chlorine that dissolved in the uh, dissolvent. Free radicals are highly reactive as a ketone don't like being on their own. For example, we have uh, hydroxychlorine or uh, hydrochloric acids like this. Hydrochloric acids, when it is a break, give us hydrogen and the chlorine. This means they have impaired electron and are highly reactive. بمعنى آخر من نحاول تنكسر الرابطة اللي بيناتهم أو الآثرة بين الهيدروكلوريك أسيدز It will product hydrogen and chlorine like that. الكوأبيلنس things between them what that Proton from the chlorine and electron from hydrogen. They made hydrochloric acids. When it's the break, they give us electron in hydrogen and seven electron in the chlorine. Okay. 
تجن اوكير ان اوكير ان ان ثري ستيبس لوك فيرست اوف اول يعني احنا حتى نشوف هذه الاسهم اللي موجوده او الاروز ون اوف ذا اروز اتس وي كان كول ذا كيرلي اروز اور فولي كيرلي اروز ذات مين We can see here. Look, this arrows, this complete has two electrons. That's me. For example, from the prom, it is the two arrows here. That's me. We have two electrons. Move from here to another place. While we have four hydrogen. For example, in that one, the arrows will be like this. Just one, partial curly or light hoop. That means we we will take electron from here to the other products. حتى نسوي أكثر تفاعل. So in that. من عندنا اثنين بالاسهم معناته ناخذ اثنين الكترون من عندنا السهم بي جاست هوب واحد راح ناخذ الكترون واحد فهذا من الاشياء اللي لازم نخليها ببالنا بالتفاعلات اوكي از از وي سايد بيفور هوموليتيك فيجن اوكيرز ان ثري ستيبس We use carry arrows as I mentioned before. This is carry arrows to depict the movement of electron. A full carry arrows represents an electron pair. Half a carry arrow scale represents a movement for one electron. Okay, initiation steps and input of energy is required. To break, break the covalent bond resulting a free radical, a free radical, two free radicals. As we see see here, A and B. When the when we break the uh, covalent bond here, the, the products results one electron with the A and another electron with the B. Homologic vision. We are the other steps. It is mean uh, propagation. That's mean, yani spread our intishar. The radicals form can then affect other reactant molecules. When we have like this products in the solvents, that's mean they will affect another molecules to make stable. Stable products. For example, each subsequent attack and formation of another free radicals, known as a propagation steps. In this steps, that's that mean will will be spread. Okay, this this can be considered a chain reaction which only stops during the termination steps. هنا شو راح ينتهي هذا التفاعل؟ من تخلص كل الفري راديكلز اللي موجوده بالسولفنت. فهنا راح ينتهي التفاعل لان الفري راديكلز اللي متوفره بالسولفنت خلاص انتهت استهلكت. واكو غيرها من الجزيئات اللي ممكن سريعه التفاعل معها. هي لين تصير الفري راديكلز، احنا ليش نخاف من الفري راديكلز؟ بالحياة أو بالصحة لأن هي تكون سريعة التفاعل مع بعض مع مع المركبات الأخرى فتأتي أنت إلى كومبينيشن أو هذا الكومبينيشن غير محمود Another thing أو another steps termination Termination of the chain reaction of the propagation step only occurs when two free 
radicals like that react with the, each other. We have two free radicals. One of them has one electron, another has another one. They will react with each other, and then the the uh, reaction will stop. There is no of another option in this step. That means the termination of the reaction. In this way, no free radical generated. Not like the steps before. Like that. We have A, C, and B. Look, the results will the result in A and C in same products and the D is in some free radicals. So that this one, the free radicals will react with the other with another product or with the other free radicals in the uh, solvent. Is that clear? Let's see, Okay. I come back. Uh, we say before homolytic vision. It's become. It is, will be in three steps. One of them initiation. That's mean uh, broken the covalent bond between A and B and resulted the free radicals of A and the free radical of B. Second steps, it is a propagation. That means we have three free radicals. One of them, A, another we have C and B. A is the free radicals in the solvent. That means that the coordinate bonds between C and B it will break. Resulted, we have another completely different product composed of A, C products, and the D it will be free radicals in the solvent. The termination of these steps. When it is finished, all the free radicals free in the solid. Last step, uh, sorry, the, it is the termination. How can we determine this product? When we have just free radicals of A and the free radicals with B, it's when we combine with each other, they product the results A and B. In that, in that steps will finish the or terminate the um, reaction because there is no other free radicals available in the solvent. Okay. Another terms we can use in the vision or break the bonds of, uh, of in the organic reaction we are heterolytic vision. What mean heterolytic vision? We can define heterolytic vision as an even breaking of the covalent bond. That means يعني مو not saying each other. Heterolytic it is it is not same in, in, in same order. The more a heterolytic atom keeps both the bond electrons and has formal negative charge. For example, hydrochloric acids, when it breaks the covalent bond between hydrogen and the chlorine, we have, we have just electron between them. When it is the, the products or free radicals will be hydrogen, it's positive charge, with the chlorine, with the negative charge. The less electron negative atom keeps non bonding electrons 
and has a formal positive charge. Heteroletic uh, vision, like here, HDR, a fully curly arrow, is used and represents the movement of pair of electrons during heteroletic vision. Here, the covalent bond will be break and resulted hydrogen with a plus or positive charge and the bromine with a negative charge. Compound contain carbon atoms bonded to more electronegative atoms. So like this, this, we have a methane or methyl and with the bromine. Methanes have a plus here, plus charge, and the bromine with the negative charge. When the covalent bonds break, well, the result is B, methane, CH3 plus, a plus bromine with the negative charge. In this case, bromine takes both electrons from the bromide ion, C loses both electrons and forms a positively charged. Here, the methane will lose two electrons and the, the charge will be positive. While Rho will take both electrons and forms a... Here, it's donor. And this one, will take uh, electrons. So, this process, we can call it carbocations. Carbocations. The carbocations will be in three steps. We have three kinds of carbocations. First one, primary carbocations are sense of carbon, like here, atom that has two electrons and has a positive charge. They are bonded to three molecules of other groups. Look, look, for example, we have this methane. Methane, how does get a positive charge, Slow, they lost uh, two electrons and the charge over it is be, is, will be plus or positive. What do we need? Look, the carbon is shed back with other the rods, hydrogen. Okay? When you put the rod, we have two electrons, شنو راح يصير الشحنة اللي على صفحة؟ يصير الشحنة موجبة. اوكي؟ فراح يكون الرياكتيفيتي مالته عالي. هاي رياكتيفيتي، شلون راح تكون رياكتيفيتي عالي؟ هنا راح يرتبط رأسا مع another يعني another uh, another carbon and this one, this carbon it is need four molecules. اوكي؟ Look, here, this one, it is, will be fit with the methane. And that one, carbon, it has two hydrogen and one carbon, or two carbon. This carbon, it will be charged with the plus. Why? Because it will be carbon attached just one. It is need another, it's one, two, three. It need another electron to be fit with it. يعني حتى تكون مشبعة هاي الذرة راح تحتاج الكترون بعد حتى تزيد التفاعل. هذا النوع من الكاربوكيشن بالحياة نقول عليه هاي رياكتيفيتي. 
فعاليتها عالية يعني إلى قابلية على الارتباط مع غيره من الذرات هذا النوع نسميه نسميه most reactive هذا النوع نسميه primary carbocation why another kind of carbocations we call secondary carbocations have a central atom which has lost two electrons like here okay and has a positive charge here this one they are two most second most reactivity why because this hydrogen atom so will be this kind of uh, carbons or carbocation is very reactive or second most reactivity بمعنى اخر هنا عندنا ذره الكربون المركزيه اللي ارتبطت بها ذره الميثان هاي ذره الميثان has a two hydrogen and two carbon this a two carbon can can be react with the another hydrogen so will be CH3 here and CH3 there while they will connect with the hydrogen this hydrogen can be more reactivity because they can replace one with the other products okay this this model we call a secondary carbonic carbonication okay last one a tertiary carbocation tertiary carbocation have a central C atom which has lost two electrons and has positive charge the central C atom is bonded with the three carbon atoms okay I I said I should have to do it. What do you think about it? I don't know. 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 I don't الكربون المركزي وذاتين كربون من ترتبط الرياكتيفيتي مال البرايمري شو راح يكون من احنا نقدر نسوي ريبليسمنت يعني نبدل يصير تبادل بالهيدروجين نفقد هيدروجين وناخذ غيره من البرودكتس اوكي او العناصر الاتومات بينما بالسكندري اللي هو هذا السكندري شنو عندنا اثنين ميتين او المثيل اثنين عندنا مثيلات مرتبطه بذره الكربون المركزيه لكن هاي ذره الكربون بما انه هو سكندري وقلنا عنده موست رياكتيفيتي عنده قابليه عاليه للتفاعل مع غير المركبات زين راح يستبدل ذره الهيدروجين هاي ويقدر يتفاعل مع غيره بينما بالتيرشري ما هو مجال للتفاعل تشوف انه ما هي ذرة الكربون المركزية اللي يفترض انه ترتبط مع اربع اربع عناصر اللي هي هذا ذرة الكربون مرتبطة مع الميثايل الميثايل جروب او ال سي اتش 3 مثل ما نقول ثلاث جروبات من عندها وبقت بقت التشارج مالتها بوزيتيف زين هنا اللي يجي وين راح يرتبط؟ فتكون هي خاملة هذا النوع التيرشري 3 كاربونز من النوع الخامل واضح؟ زين حتى نقول الكاربوكيشنز يعني شلون كموديل كموديل كامل للكاربوكيشنز هو وجود ذر اذر 
كاربون كونتيند جروب شوف بالبرايمري هو راجع شعر حنجي هو عنده شنو هاي الكيل نسميها مجموعه الالكيل اللي مطيها رمز بالار ار جروبس نسميها اللي شنو اللي اللي طريقتها انه تختزل فعالية الفعالية مالت الكاربوكيشن فإذا عندنا كثير من الآر بال بالبرودكتس راح تقل فعالية هذا الـ 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 العنصر أو البرودكت ما يقدر يتفاعل مع غيره ما يميل ما يمنت تو رياكت ويز ذا اذر اوتمز واضح؟ فهنا البرايمري كاربوكيشن هاف ون الكيل فاذا عندنا ون الكيل جروب ان ار ذا موست رياكتيف يكون كلش عالي فعاليه موست رياكتيف فعاليه فعاليه بينما اللي اللي تكون هاز هذا تو ارز او تو الكيل جروب شنو راح تكون الفعاليه مالته؟ شوي اقل من البرايمري والتيرشري تكون فعاليته ليست رياكتيف تكون فعاليته قليله جدا لان ما عندنا شيء يستبدله لا ذره هيدروجين ولا هيدروكسي زين This is because a helium group push electron density away from themselves and toward the positive الكترون ديفيشن ستار يعني الانواع الكاربوكيشن من نقول مصطلح الكترون ديفيشن كاربوكيشن وات ذا مين هذا معناته ذره الكربون اللي عندها ضعف من ناحيه الكربون الرياكتيفيتي الالكترون عفوا عندها ضعف من ناحيه الالكترون رياكتيفيتي شلون؟ يعني عندنا نقص بالكلمة هاي، نقص نقص بالالكترونات، فشلون تحول؟ تحول انه تستبدله وتتفاعل مع غيره من العناصر بالحياة. فـ this spread of electron from the extra alkyl groups towards the carbocation makes the carbocation less electron deficient and therefore less reactive. فبهذا التفاعل مجموعة الألكي من هي من هي استبدلت بذرة الهيدروجين اللي موجودة هنا راح يصير هذا البرودكتس كلش قليل التفاعل بالحياة يصير خامل يعني خلاص هو تفاعل وبقى مثل ما هو تمام؟ The electron donating nature of alkyl groups has positive inductive effects and adjusting group يعني مثل ما قلت لك انه هي هذا الالكترون الواهب بالطبيعه اللي هي مجموعه الالكيل يعني مجموعه الالكيل تستبدل بالهيدروجين الموجود، يعني الهيدروجين الموجود راح تجي مجموعه الالكيل بمكانه. فايش راح يسوي؟ راح يخلي هذا الوسط او هاي ذره الكربون تميل الى البوزيتيف. The more alkyl groups attached to be to the positively charged carbon, the less the charge density on the carbonation. So, مثل ما شرحت لك هو ده هذا الشرط إنه يقول مجموعة الكرب الكرب العفوا مجموعة الألكيل الموجودة هنا راح جدًا ما هي موجودة راح يكون أكثر ال ال الكربونيشن الدنسيتي تشارج uh, يكون مالته اقل مما اللي موجوده به فقط ذره الكيل. 